What's good, y'all? It's your boy Prolay, man. And we back. Listen, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. That way you can get more content from your boy. But today, the discussion is Errol Spence versus Mr. Crawford, man. Bud Crawford. And let me tell y'all something. It's a lot of back and forth with the eyes on this particular fight, man. Because these two niggas, they're the best of the best. They both hold zeros. And they both come with nothing but sheer destruction. All right? Now, here's my thing, right? The two differences. I'm going to tell you right now. Bud Crawford, he's this generation's Floyd Mayweather. Because he picks you apart. And every opponent that this man fights in them deep waters is over with, bro. And don't let him catch you early, bro, because it's number straight tyranny. Now, here's the thing. He going against another fighter that has a zero. That fighter being Errol Spence Jr., This is going to be a good one. Just trying to tell y'all that. Because Eric Spence Jr., he on nothing but tyranny and absolute destruction. For one, his hands work. All right? He can box. But the difference between these two is Bud Crawford is more of a strategic fighter. He pick you apart, look for weaknesses. Errol Spence Jr. ready to go to war with niggas. His main objective is he wants to make sure that he kills your body. Meaning he's a brawler. Now, if Bud fall into that trap, man, then it's going to be a long night for that man. Me, personally, I got my bread on Bud because I see high, high potential in this man. And I still see a lot of work that Errol Spence got to do, man, to beat this man. Because if he think that Bud Crawford can't take no can't take no punches, he's he. You're mistaken, my friend. Bud Crawford got that big ass head for a reason, man. That nigga, he could take a punch, dog. He can take a punch. This is what y'all need. Y'all need to chill because for one, no matter who y'all pick, y'all going against the whole world because. Anytime you post something about, oh, I got my money on Errol Spence or Bud Crawford, the other side, y'all, you beefing with a whole motherfucker through your timeline all day, 24 hours. It ain't no going around that, man. You feel me? So how I see it, how I personally see it, I see it going the distance. I see it going, I, yeah, I see it going the distance. But I also see... Bud Crawford winning 10-8 across the board. I think it's going to be a unanimous decision. Personally, you feel me? This is going to be a good one. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't Mr. Porter who both of them niggas fought. This ain't Mr. Porter who both of them niggas fought, bro. They both, they put work in. But there's levels to this shit, man. Y'all better get in tune and y'all better start understanding what the fuck going on around here. So, y'all let me know who y'all got y'all bread on. And let me know y'all opinion on how this fight about to go. But like I said, I got Bud Crawford winning in the long haul. You feel me? I got it 10-8 all the way through. You feel me? And I'm looking forward to a good night of making some increments. You feel me? I'm, I'm, I, I like making that bread. So, yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel. It's your boy Parlay. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man.